ないですよ As soon as I got my hands on this Mantis exotic sniper rifle, it was actually like no other exotic I've experienced. Y'all might not realize how good this weapon is. Unlike the Nemesis, you're able to inflict a lot more damage quicker. <laughs> Think of it this way. Whoever you shoot that is not looking at you, it's like they're wearing glass cannon because the Mantis deals 50% more damage to enemies that are not paying attention to you. A little something for you to think about. Anyways, let's get into this because I want to share with you some techniques that I like to use and they helped me out so much. Even before I made the switch to mouse and keyboard when I was on Xbox One, I've always loved this playstyle. Sniping is not as hard as you think. It ultimately comes down to being patient, but there are a few methods that actually will help your proficiency while sniping. One being something what many don't really understand about the headhunter talent along with Mantis. And the reason why you should roll this particular attribute instead of any other. It's weapon handling. With the TU-10 patch, this attribute was buffed, which means that it's really good now and completely viable, even as much as crit hit chance or crit hit damage. Weapon handling increases your reload speed, which in turn increases your DPS. It increases your stability and your swap speed, all of which are essential to sniping, especially on a controller because aside from the difficulty in aiming with your thumbs, you'll need all the help you can get. I mean, you know the phrase potato aim, right? You might be thinking right now, well, why not roll crit hit chance or crit hit damage instead of weapon handling? Well, it's because with the headhunter talent, your damage is capped at a certain percentage of your last hit after a headshot kill. Even if you rolled crit to increase your damage, it won't be more than maybe 22 million per headshot. And you'd be effectively wasting those stats. So, it just makes sense to roll weapon handling alongside the headshot damage. Once you do this, then you're set and ready to snipe like a pro. What you need to realize about this playstyle is that it's not a running gun, like your typical DPS build. It is a running gun in a sense. It takes patience and a little more skill than many others. Also, it's high risk, high reward, and very satisfying if you could pull it off. When sniping, make sure you keep your distance and never let the enemy get too close. One way you can do this is always have vision for your team, and especially for you, no one will ever be able to flank you which will give you more of an opportunity to play that sniper yeah, role. You. So if you're in a DZ, use the scanner pulse, which has a low cooldown, and a scanner drone for conflict. When you finally have a shot lined up, don't rush it. <laughs> Wait for them to stop, and they will. Once they do, that's your opportunity to get that headshot, which will start the chain killer talent. Now, you don't always have to wait for them to stop moving, but this is just a suggestion for those of lesser experience. Because hitting someone in the head while they are moving will put you on a higher echelon of skill. So just keep practicing and you'll get there in no time. That's pretty much all I have for you about how to become a pro at sniping in PvP. And if you want to see a few sniper builds I made, click on one of these videos right here so you can start your journey right now. And don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you in my next video, be right out.